Hey everyone, this is Haas here. We are getting stuff done around the homestead. It's been really windy, so I haven't been able to make any videos outside that you could hear anything at all. And hopefully, it's a little breezy today, but hopefully we can um, still hear each other. Or you hear me. I can't hear you. If I'm hearing you talk to me, we got some bigger problems than what I'm dealing with right now. So, a lot's happened really quickly here. We got some soil. Pretty excited about. Um, got that from Hickory Hill Nursery in South Sebring. Pretty good dude. Went and talked with him a little bit. Probably going to see if he can get a hold of some Gloridia or Glacidia. I don't know how to say it. It's a fence that grows naturally. I, I don't know. I'm going to look it up and get a hold of him, see if we can get something worked out. Starting, not that, don't worry about that, but starting working on our garden buckets. Um, should be getting those set up by tomorrow. Uh, most of them anyway. We still have some stuff we got to get for the, for the bottom, but uh, we've been yard selling and found a lot of really cool stuff. A lot of really good deals that the, sorry, the... Um, thing there the white thing Hannah got for free sorry I know I'm spinning you around like crazy I got this for five bucks that's full of sorted rivets and screws and springs and pretty good deal the best deal there's two of them one Hannah got 54 quart ball jars for six bucks no lids or anything but you can pick lids and seals up cheap so we got that, that's an awesome price. And then, for those of you that are woodworkers, I picked this little beauty up. Scrolling jigsaw, old school craftsman. This joker's heavy for two bucks and it works. I know it works because I plugged it in. I did not mention that, hey, I'm about to turn this on. Owen had just picked something up off the table and I turned it on and he freaked out and dropped it. And I thought he almost broke some stuff, but there's a couple other things. Well, well, well not that important. It's just some pretty good deals. So today, um, just now, when I get off talking with y'all, I'm gonna take care of our rooster. We did get, let me put on my boots and I'll come in here. Owen, oh, there's another egg. Go get your boots on. So we're gonna take, take care of Rooster, or A-H as Hannah has dubbed him and now Owen refers to. So he is A-H and you could probably put two and two together and figure out what that one's for. He's, he's just getting too, too aggressive. Um, always trying to take Owen out. Um, even follows and runs up and up and down the, the fence, trying to get a hold of him. I know I'm spinning around. I'm sorry. I do that a lot. All right. He's on, he's back on the other side. Get that egg. And he's, he's now, birth is fine. Oh, you're just trying to pet her. All right, get that egg. Um, he's even now going after Hannah. So we have, we got to take care of him. It's just, it's not a good situation. If my back is to him, he, he tends to stay away from me. Go on out. Go on. He tends to, <laughs> shut up. He tends to stay away from me, like run around to the other side. And it's probably because last time he, he went off. I caught him as he was coming around that coop and I I caught him solid. So he uh, he tends to stay away from me, which is fine. We did get a new addition. Owen named her Love. She is a uh, Australorp that has just like over the past few months just randomly been showing up to she's hiding right now. We'll put her out in with everybody and let you get a better look pretty bird but she's been showing up and hanging on the outside of the chicken run with them for a few months 
So finally we're like, let's just open the gate and see what happens. And she come walking right in. Like she, this is where she was from. So just wait, Whitey. Um, so we quarantined her and after a while, we're going to let her in. Uh, we're going to give it a day or two after we take care of, after we take care of AH so they can kind of get used to not having him around and then we'll let her in. The chicks are growing huge. Um, they have plenty of real feathers now. They're losing their down and all kinds of good stuff. So we are... No, you don't weigh enough, bud. Um, so I figure we'll have some roosters out of that that we can have as a rooster. Um, Owen has been taking care of them every day. He's been doing a really good job. And um, his whole purpose is he's gonna try to make sure that they are used to humans. They know that he is the their boss and we don't have this issue that we have with AH but my main point in making this video today and everybody's kind of been talking about this you know the the C word virus um, it doesn't sound right it sounds like I'm trying to talk dirty and I'm not there's just from watching other videos if you use the the name of the virus it uh, it, I don't know if videos get brought down or what, but it seems like everybody is, is talking in code when they're talking about it. So I'm going to continue talking code when I talk about it. My feelings on it, it's being blown way out of proportion. I am actually convinced that we had it back in November. Um, you know, we had all the symptoms it was much, much worse than a cold. We couldn't get it to go away. It took a little over a month for it to finally to clear it away. And I had that thought, and then I read what the head guy in West Virginia said, head, head medical guy in West Virginia. And I'm like, oh, that makes sense. And then talking to my sister-in-law, she she agrees. She's in the medical, medical field. And I'm like, well, I, I'm pretty convinced we had it in November. So I think a lot of this is just causing mass hysteria not saying it's not dangerous those in the um in the fragile age group obviously or even medical issues group obviously they need to take this serious we need to take it serious because we don't want it to pass on to them but the lunacy of everybody i i, I should not go out in public right now not because I'm afraid to get a virus, not because I'm really even afraid to pass it on to anybody because I don't have contact to do that. I just don't put up with stupidity very well. And there are so many stupid people out there. One thing I taught Owen, we were going to yard sale and he mentioned something. And I said, listen, buddy, a person can be smart, but people are stupid and we see so many stupid people buying all this toilet paper just going it's ridiculous but it hit me oh i'm gonna chop your head off it hit me that all this stuff we've been preparing or prepping up oh, sun's back out um we've been preparing or prepping for the summer anyway you know, having one income during the summer. Summer was tight anyway. We've been preparing for the summer. So a lot of what we have to deal with now is going to be dealing with or being used for, you know, anything we may need now. But it clicked. I'm not prepping for some pandemic. I'm not prepping for some invasion from another country and I'm not prepping for a, a mass extinction event. What I'm prepping for are for the people who
don't do any prep work because they lose their collective minds. We've gone from the whole British idea. It started out as a poster in 1939. They were going to try to get people ready for the war. And so they said, keep calm, carry on. It's a very British, very British thing to, to say. Show your resolve, be proper, move on about your daily business. Doesn't matter if Germany's, you know, throwing down, you know, fire bombs from, from the skies on you. Keep doing what you're supposed to be doing. Well, that's a good mindset to have. Stay calm in hectic circumstances. Keep your wits about you. I like it. We've gone from a keep calm, carry on to everybody freak out and lose any kind of common sense they had, which we know not a lot of people have common sense. So we aren't, we are not losing our minds over this. We understand it's a really, really bad cold that can develop into stuff that's really bad for people who have lung issues, stuff like that. Hannah has two severe asthmatic. So we're taking precautions, but it's common sense stuff that we do anyway. We try to stay away from large groupings of people. We have proper hygiene, simple stuff that everybody does and we do not need this mass hysteria that we have right now. It's ridiculous, especially when I'm fairly certain it's already made its way to the US at least once this year. So that's my thoughts on it. I'm not worried about it. Um, obviously, I shouldn't even have to say this, but people are so sensitive. They're like, what about the people that have died? Obviously, I feel for their families. I'm not heartless. I, I, I admit I'm a jerk sometimes. Maybe even have a dark sense of humor with some things. But, yes, I feel bad for those people. And I, I wish that hadn't happened. I wish that they would have caught it early. It would, went to the doctor. You know, they, they, they can help deal with this. But it has to be caught early. So, I don't know. I just wanted to put that out there. I'm not prepping for some major catastrophe. I'm prepping for those who don't prep at all because they are the crazy ones. Anyway, Owen's begging to get rid of AH. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Sorry, I just saw something weird on my electric meter. I don't know Dad, what it means. We're not, we're not going to get rid of him, we're killing him. We're gonna take care of, of AH. All right. I'm gonna let you go, this has gone way too long. Y'all, prepare. Don't prepare for any other big thing that may or may not happen. Prepare for the idiots that don't prepare. So, be self-sufficient, help everyone you can, inconvenience no one. Y'all have a good day. Owen's ready to get this chicken taken care of. And don't be stupid! What is it? Don't be stupid! Words to live by. Bye. <laughs>